that you're born with a winning mindset. Let's have a look back at what was a very eventful race here in Hogerheide and the UCI Elite Women's World Championship title race. And it didn't get off to a great start for Puck. Slipped that foot on the wet tarmac when, when she started. I think one advantage for her was the small field. So she slipped that foot. She was almost trying to push away from the floor with her foot um, rather than just going straight up back onto that pedal so uh, just one of those things and then the gears seem to slip as well at the same time so it was really unfortunate but managed to make her way back into second place pretty quickly uh, coming towards the end of the uh, first lap hop those planks and that's where she really uh, kicked on and made her way across to uh, Fen Van Empel. What do you think in terms of the, the bronze medal you know for Lucinda Brand today as well. Sylvia Persico she had to go really deep as well early on to to stay with the with those two. And she was fighting a, a losing battle against six riders. You can see this is the important part of the race. This is where Puck um, didn't quite get the right line at that point and slipped out. And Femme, as she said in her interview, said, "I saw that, so I'm actually going to capitalise on that." And went as hard as she could, and nobody was able to ever see her again. Great fans all around. And I, we love the style and the showboating as well of, of Puck Peterson. She is such a breath of fresh air, isn't she? She really is, yeah. And I mean, the, this event in Hugerhide, you're right on the border of Belgium. It's only five kilometers to, to Belgium. So everybody comes out to watch. The crowds are amazing. And even when in 2014 was the first year that the World, Women's World Championships was on the Saturday. And they wanted it to be on the Saturday so that they could get...